Week six fantasy football defensive streamers. We're looking for that edge that you need to win this week. It's week six. We are deep into the fantasy football season. This is not messing around time. This is going and getting a win time. And one of the edges that we can find every single week is looking for defensive streaming options that whether or not they have a strong matchup or just a strong defense or everything's sort of lining up in terms of attrition, these defenses can give you an edge that can help you go from potential losses to potential wins this week. And if you have the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, if you have the Buffalo Bills defense, you don't need to watch this video. Those defenses are both top five this week. Philadelphia Eagles coming off of a bye. If you've been stashing them against for this week against the Cleveland Browns, you're Gucci. You don't need to watch this. You're good to go. You, you're all set. But for a lot of you out there, you might not like your matchup or you might be looking for something just a little bit better, something that could swing your way and potentially give you a 15-point week a 16-point week, double-digit points that can be that edge. Think about how many games you've won or lost in fantasy football over the years by seven points, less than 10, something frustrating that gets you through. I know I lost a, a game last week in one league where it was by like 0.5 points. Those small edge losses should give you motivation to grind through and find as many edges as you can find to win. And we're going to attempt to do that today. And the defenses that I'm going to be discussing are all going to be available in at least 40% of Yahoo leagues. These, these defenses are not going to be something where I'm going to tell you some top-notch defense. I want to see defenses that are going to be available to a lot of you. So today, actually, you know, my threshold is even better because every defense I'm going to discuss today is available in at least 50% of leagues. The top defense that I'm going to discuss is rostered in 45% of leagues only, meaning that they're available in 55% of leagues. And that's my top streaming option this week. We're also going to talk about a couple of defenses that you can stash if you're looking for an edge to help you win in week seven. I also want to review how my recommendations did last week. And last week was sort of a mixed bag. We were on a bye week. We were scrambling, looking for lower rostered defenses. We had a couple of positives. New England Patriots, we recommended them. They delivered against the Miami Dolphins. They had a fumble recovery. They had an interception. And they had three sacks. Miami is a train wreck. And we are going to continue to fade them until Tua Tungavailoa comes back and possibly afterwards. We also had the Seattle Seahawks, and that was a very disappointing loss against the New York Giants, but they did have three sacks and a fumble recovery. So we had a couple of decent ones there. Uh, depending on your scoring, New England usually was somewhere in like the top eight uh, for scoring, and Seattle didn't lose you the week. They were like right up on the defensive one line. Uh, but this week, this one's pretty exciting. I think this is kind of a week where we have multiple defensive options where if things sway our way, we could get a very, very big performance. And I want to start out at the top. We talked about this team last week as a defensive uh, stash option. We said, you know, if you have a roster spot, you can stash this defense and it's going to pay off in week six. And that's the LA Chargers. This is my favorite streaming option. And a lot of times, we love backing teams coming off of a bye week when it comes to defense because we have an opportunity to self-scout, make adjustments on what's not working, and hopefully turn those things around post-bye. You also have a de facto two-week preparation for this game, and it's a divisional matchup, and you get the Denver Broncos, and the Broncos have won three games in a row. So this is a little bit of a perfect storm for the Chargers, an important game for them to win. It's in Denver, and this is a difficult uh, place to play, but, and that and to their credit, the Denver Broncos defense playing complete lights out football. They've won three games in a row, but they only have a 16 point implied team total. And the Chargers 
have allowed the fewest points in football. So we have a defense that can shut you out. We have a low implied team total, and we have a team coming off of a bye week. This is a perfect storm for us defensively. Again, they're going to be rostered in quite a few leagues, but they're still available in 55% of leagues right now. And we've got to talk about streaming against a brand new quarterback. And that is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense going up against the New Orleans Saints. Now, Spencer Rattler takes over. This is sort of, when it comes to fifth round picks, this is a very well-known player. Spencer Rattler was one of the best freshmen in the country, if not the best, when he was an Oklahoma Sooner. Looked like he was going to be a future NFL first round pick. Ends up leaving Oklahoma because he loses his job to Caleb Williams. Ends up going to South Carolina. Does enough at South Carolina to stay on the NFL radar, remain a prospect, and he was probably the best quarterback at the Senior Bowl. Got a third-round grade from a lot of people. Dane Brugler of The Athletic gave him a third-round grade. Ends up being drafted in the fifth round. Fast forward to this week. We see Derek Carr go down with an injury in New Orleans, lost to Kansas City on Monday Night Football. Jake Hayner comes in the game. Nobody was going to be scared of Jake Hayner. No no disrespect to the Fresno State fan base or, or any Jake Hayner fans out there. But the Saints, there was the reports that they're going to go with Rattler. And then they did it. They announced Rattler is going to start. So this means they believe that they have a better chance with Spencer Rattler than they do Jake Hayner. And the week-long preparation will get him in a good place uh, to succeed. For me, I still am going to fade him off the top, even with the vibes being strong out of New Orleans. This is a, a situation where it's a day three pick in his first NFL start in a divisional matchup against a team coming off of a loss in Tampa Bay that I think is a very good team. This is an important game for Tampa Bay, and they're going up against a rookie quarterback. We've also seen New Orleans struggle to score late recently with Derek Carr. Now they make the switch. How good Spencer Rattler can be in game one, we're sure going to find out, but I'm willing to stream Tampa Bay if I'm in a bind. And Tampa Bay's defense got smoked by Atlanta. They allowed 509 passing yards last week. So this is a defense that really needs a get-right performance as well. So for me, Tampa Bay very much on the streaming line, and they are available in 79% of leagues. Matchup-based streaming option. Indianapolis Colts, they just had a loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Again, this is why fantasy football is a weekly game. Last week, Indianapolis gave up a million yards. Tank Bigsby is still running. Brian Thomas is still running. Those guys were doing whatever they wanted. Trevor Lawrence had his best game of the season. But we get a game this week against the Tennessee Titans, and Tennessee is a train wreck right now. Tennessee has allowed the most turnovers in football. Tennessee is allowing the sixth most sacks in football. So when we also have seen very poor quarterback play out of Tennessee all season long with a new coach and a new system, this is a game where if things break right, Indianapolis can be a viable play for you. And they are available in 77% of leagues. So if you're in a deep format and you're struggling, we are not necessarily playing the defense because we love Indianapolis's defensive talent or anything about that defense. We are simply fading a dysfunctional offense in the Tennessee Titans. This is one where it's not my favorite play, but depending on your needs, they're right there. Let's talk about the Atlanta Falcons. They're growing up against the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers have a 21-point implied total. So this is a game where Carolina is projected to only score 21 points. So not dismal but nothing promising. Atlanta, there's some really positive vibes there. Atlanta, we've seen this defense have mixed performances this year. Tampa Bay uh, was also very good offensively against Atlanta last week. So Carolina loses a big one. This is a team that's given up 30 points or more in three games this season. The game could shift uh, poorly for them in terms of game flow. I think Carolina is going to attempt to use a lot of Chuba Hubbard to take the pressure off, but at the end of the day, this Atlanta offense is going to put a ton of pressure on Carolina to keep up, 
which is going to create opportunities for turnovers, which is going to create opportunities for sacks, and all of the things we want to look for when we're streaming a low rostered defense. In Atlanta, we used them a few weeks back, and they finished as a top three defense. Right on this video, we talked about them as a very low roster defense. At the time, they were available in like 95% of leagues. Right now, they're available in 84% of leagues. So they are a viable streamer right now. So we talked about the LA, the LA Chargers. We've talked about the Atlanta Falcons. We've talked about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've talked about the Indianapolis Colts. Of all four of those teams, it's clearly, to me, the LA Chargers as the one that you want to prioritize but they are also the mo highest rostered among those four by a considerable margin. Every other defense I talked about is available in at least 75% of leagues. Chargers available in 55% of leagues. Let's talk about next week if we want to get a week ahead. And we're, when we try to talk about being a week ahead, this is not advocating for every single one of you to roster two defenses. That's not necessarily the best strategy. But if you have the spot on your roster or you're in a deep format or you're in a league that's that's ex that's exceptionally thin on the waiver wire, then there are situations where rostering a second defense makes some sense. But this doesn't need to be something you do all the time. But if you are looking for an edge defensively next week, you have the Arizona Cardinals hosting these LA Chargers in Arizona. That's a Monday night football environment. That's, again, not a hard travel game for LA, but that's a game that could really shift Arizona's way in prime time. I like them as a defensive streamer. Uh, LA is a team also that's going to attempt to run. They're going to attempt to sort of take the air out of the football. We've seen Ladd McConkey do well this year. We've seen Quentin Johnson catch a few touchdown passes, but Justin Herbert's banged up. And this is an Arizona team where at home, they can really put the pressure on LA to get out of their comfort zone in what they want to do with this Greg Roman offense. Indianapolis, if they hit for us this week against Tennessee, they get Miami next week. Miami coming off a bye. We've seen Devon Achan banged up. Tua Tunga Vailoa will not be back next week. So even though Miami has the bye week to prepare, Indianapolis next week, if they show improvement versus what they did against Jacksonville, they become a viable streamer next week. And the final team to consider stashing is the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals just got smoked by Baltimore, but they're not exactly playing Baltimore in week seven. Week seven, Cincinnati is in Cleveland. Cleveland is an absolute train wreck. Cleveland is averaging, is allowing the most sacks in the NFL by a wide margin. They have no pass protection right now, and this is a obviously a game that Cincinnati is going to need to get and need to win this one. Cincinnati has a chance this week against the Giants, and they have a chance to keep it going next week against Cleveland. Things bounced poorly for Cincinnati this year. They've lost a number of close games, lost the close one to Washington, lost the close one to Baltimore, and that, that Kansas City game, they lost a close one. This is a good team, better than their record indicates. So your streamers again for this week are the Chargers, the Buccaneers, the Falcons, and the Indianapolis Colts. Chargers, the number one streaming option this week uh, for widely available defenses. Your stashes for next week among widely available defenses are the Indianapolis Colts, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Arizona Cardinals. And one PSA, keep attention to the bye weeks. The bye weeks, people do some crazy things in terms of cuts. And if you see anyone in one of your leagues cutting the Minnesota Vikings because they need to free up a roster spot, you need to prioritize the Minnesota Vikings defense like they were a skill position player you could enter your lineup. Not quite like a, a, a insert RB1, but they will make an impact for you for the rest of the season. This is a complete defense. We talked about them for weeks on this show as an option before they became too widely rostered. But the Minnesota Vikings, if they get cut this week while they're on their bye, scoop them up and you won't have to watch this video for the rest of the season because they're a set it and forget it defense. 
I'm Theo Greminger right here at Player Profiler. We got you covered with videos like this that can help you win this season. If you want more content like this, make sure you are subscribing to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out a lot. Check out all of my podcasts right available here at Player Profiler as well. And we're going to see you soon. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for tuning in. It's important to me that all of our media be free. This is only possible because of you allowing a true independent sports media enterprise to thrive unlike any other in the business. So please subscribe to the All In Package to continue to make all this possible to ensure that all of our stats, information, data, content is available to you, especially you, the people that get the site and get the show.